welcome back guys to another tutorial on AEM um, this is a question this is Cobb Douglas uh, production function for example you have this question and you are told to calculate the total output uh, this question is very straightforward this one in particular is straightforward the level of output is already function is already given here q equals to 2 25k raised to the power of 0.5 a raised to the power of 0.5 you are told to calculate the total output so you don't need to do anything the q is the total output all you just need to do is put in the values there 36 raised to the power of 0.5 then you work it out as simple as that okay so let me go to the next question so if k is 100 if k is 100 and l is 25 what is the mp for labor and mp for capital okay now this one is a little bit different you have to apply the knowledge of differentiation remember mp marginal product is all about change in change in um, remember mp is all about changing the output as a result of change in inputs this one is product product um, yes, okay this one is a uh, is this one is not even pro this is i factor factor you have two factors of production labor and capital so the change in each of them that results in that is a that is resulted the change in the output that results from change in inputs so remember anything change 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 that's change in output as a result of change in a particular input maybe capital this time around remember if you are doing this you are doing differentiation so we need to differentiate q with respect to k here hmm. differentiating q with respect to k remember from differentiation the power comes down to multiply 25k raised to the power of we subtract 1 from it minus 1 l 0.5 now i know some of you may be wondering why is it that remember if something is not if you have a let's take 2x squared minus 4x plus y plus plus 2 and I thought to differentiate that as 4x minus 4 this one becomes 0 likewise if there is a variable here maybe a since this a is not x and you are differentiating with respect to x this one is automatically 0 but why is it that this l did not turn 0 okay yeah I know some of you might be wondering that it would not turn 0 the reason is because this assuming there's a plus separating them here yeah. assuming there's a plus separating them here yeah, fine there's no plus separating them it's as good as when you have 2xy and you are diff oh, no let me not say 2xy let's say 2xz this is y y equals to 2xz and you are differentiating with respect to x it's only this x that you are dealing with this z here yeah, is regarded as is as good as this 2 in this equation so if you are differentiating this it becomes 2x 2z so that 2 is seen as a this z is seen as a constant so this one is just like a constant to this that's why it doesn't change so in Cobb Douglas it will not change is because there's a multiplication there is like a constant to k here so after now that we have done this we've differentiated it successfully so all you just need to do is impute the values 100 um, that one should be minus 0 0.5 then 25 0 0.5 and you solve it you solve it and get the answer now we can try the same thing as well for we can try the same thing as well for k for l i mean differentiate respect to a last 0 0.5 times 25k 0.5 l 0 0.5 minus 1 
and then become 0 0.5 times 25 100 is power 0 0.5 25 is power minus 0 0.5 and once you calculate it you get the answer okay the next question here is that if k is the vertical axis and l is the horizontal axis, what is the marginal rate of technical substitution now he said if k is the vertical and l is the horizontal if k this is vertical this is horizontal so if this is k and this is l what is the marginal rate of technical substitution k for l that's the meaning so now it means the marginal rate of technical substitution k for l remember equals to mppk all over mppl and um, and then it goes to, goes to uh, change in hell all over change in k good so remember we, would have, we already have done this in the uh, previous question and also this one in the previous question then you just put them here and you get the answer now there's something i also need to point out to you it's a uh, during when i was doing my own aem the other time it came out under this MPPK MPPM. Now uh, there was a question that came out like this: If the marginal rate of technical substitution for labor, labor for uh, uh, capital for labor, is three all over four, what is the change in labor? Now that is a good question. Yeah, remember from MRTS. K for L, we already know that it is MPPK all over MPPL. I hope you remember that. Yeah. And then um, MPPK or MPPL, which is equal to change in L all over change in K. I hope you remember that. Now, since MPPL, MPPK over MPPL equals to change in L, change in K, that means MPPK. Is same as change in L and MPPL is same as change in K. So the question now is what is the change in labor? Remember that MRTS is already 3 over 4. So we can say that 3 is this one, 4 is this one. And then since change in L is same as MPPK, so we can say change in L is also what 3 since this is MPPK, so we can say change in L is also what 3 change in L equals to 3. So it's very simple, straightforward. It came out a lot in my test, then it came out a lot, and it, they didn't really explain it that time, they didn't really explain it. So you guys should please take note of that take note of that so if you for example now mrts l for k now equals to 1 over 2 you are told to find change in k what would you do what would you do sorry remember mrts l for k equals to what mpp l mpp k equals change in k change in L remember so we already know that this one is 1 all over 2 is same as change in K change in L and um, since we already know that I'm going to find change in K I'm going to find change in K so that means change in K is also equal to what change in K is equal to 1 so that's as simple as that and that's just basically what you need to expect and things you should expect in your exam are all those short ones no you won't see all these long long ones those short ones you might see a cop douglas function now equals to 25k 0.3 l 0.0.6 and we told what is the i remember i saw a question like this what is the uh, elasticity the output elasticity 
of capital. I remember one of my friends then he said that he just saw it was even feeling it was feeling the box was there he just saw it. this is a cup the last one what is the output elasticity of capital and he was just looking at what what on it is does this and it's very simple this is just the only thing you just need to input the 3.0 that's all and then um, uh, uh, what is the con return to scale return to scale it also came out I remember it also came out and he was just saying he just couldn't put any anything and return to scale very simple 0.9 that's the return to scale and if it is OBG if it is something you need to a uh, multiple choice you would have seen it decreasing return constant return increasing return this one is what is a decreasing return to scale so that's just that it's as simple as that thank you very much I remain last in the feet bye the output elasticity let me write the question key equals to 25k raised to power of 0.5 l raised to power 0.5 now these things that you see on top here they are called the output elasticity so the output elasticity of capital k equals to what 0.5 and the output elasticity of labor is 0.5 hmm? now the next question here in this sorry you can't see the question I am seeing it here but you cannot see it uh, now another question that can be asked is return to scale what's the return to scale for that function and um, in order to get the return to scale all you just need to do is add the output elasticity for both variables and this one is one so it is a constant return to scale 